What's up, everybody? Welcome to Bay Bucks and Birdies. I'm Trip here with Colton on the way to Mike Outdoor Sports, looking to go get us some new bows for this upcoming bow season. Got about 20 days, so hoping we can find us a good Matthews bow here. We'll check back with y'all whenever we get to the store. We're here at Mike's now. Let's see what we can't find. All right, we got two mattress bows here for each of us. Um, trying to see if we can't get some measurements, get some accessories put on them, and get out of the store with them today. So, basically, I went with the 33-inch bow just because of my height, you know, a little bit more stability, a little less speed, but, you know, I don't think it's anything to really make a difference. Got the 29-inch for you, I believe. Uh, a little bit more compact, shoots a little quicker, but, um, so... Hopefully we're going to get out of here and have everything we want and have some good bows for... ...down on your earlobe, so right now you're right here. Why don't you come down to here. There you go. Nose on the string. Go on your earlobe. Okay. Twenty nine. Down. What's going on everybody? Just made it back to the house. We got our bows set up. We got Landon here in Colton's place. Uh, but still, he still has Colton's bow, but that's what I'm working with here. We got the, the Matthews Phase 4. You know, I'll show you all a little bit what I got on it here. So uh, we'll go kind of go piece by piece. Um, so went with B3 release. That's for both of us. Uh, both went with the B3 releases. Um, this is obviously no order. Uh, I've got some. Uh, some knocks. Nocturnals. Some yeah, some nocturnals. Is uh, if we're being specific, tight. Some Titan practice tips. Um. I don't even know what, what is this is. Yeah. Lock outdoors. Lock outdoors. But um, lock outdoors, wrist sling, go around our B stinger, stabilizer, six inch stabilizer. Uh, let's see. I think our hallway rests are a little different. Nothing crazy though. I think it's just how it's structurally sound. Yep, so I got the ripcord and max, next level fall away rest. Um, so, it's real cool. And then for my sight, we went with the Scent Verdict. Let's see, the black gold the Scent Verdict. And it's the one pin on that. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty similar. So, anyways, oh, we got the... We got the Maxima Red arrows. So I went with the 33 inch bow, and Colton had gone with the 29 inch. So obviously, our uh, drawings are a little different, but John, John, are you serious right now? What? Are you serious? Uh, anyway, so he's making a pretty good subscriber. We're gonna this this guy over here, but um, anyway, so we're gonna throw in some of these some of these old nocturnals and uh, just do a little bit of shooting off the back porch. I shoot my boat for the first time, twenty yards out. Really no time. <laughs> this is about to go, but. See where I'm shot. Not too bad. Let's get.
Yep, so. Consistently missing left. Gonna do some adjustments real quick and uh, shoot it again. All right, we got first round of shots with Colton and we're gonna see what it does. All right, round two, made some adjustments. Um, hopefully we can, we can be dead on from 20 here. They were still messing a little bit to the left. All right, so we made some adjustments. Here we go, round two. Let's see what we did. Pretty consistent. Gonna we'll move it down a little bit. We should be right on. All right, third third attempt. Well, third set of attempts. Shall I say? Uh, made some more adjustments. So. Let's see what we can't do. It's kind of hard to see the target with that Illuminoc in it. And then turn it off. Huh? And turn it off. They're in the target. Oh, I thought you meant to see your pen. My bad. Because <laughs> you're just aiming at the glowing thing. I thought you meant you can't see your pen. Well, huh? I was user. I was user for sure. But. All right, I'm gonna show Trip how's done real quick. I'm gonna stick one right in between his, put it right on the edge. You know? <laughs> A little assistance, please. Maybe this can make the blooper real. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. Should I restart? No. <laughs> this is great. Made a, okay, right. made a diamond. Hold on a minute. Oh, gosh. You want to try to put one in between all of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just, the first one was a little user error, you know, like, just, it's not really user error. It's just equipment malfunction. They don't make them like they used to. That ain't the most lame thing I've heard all day. I mean, they just don't. Like, like my day? That would never happen. I might have just split that area. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm a good shot. What can I say? All right, we moved it out to 40 a little bit. We're going to see how sure our adjustments are this time. 
told you it was clutch. I shot off the clutching. No way. Wow, wow, wow. They lasted a whole four shots. Okay. Whoops. Sorry, Colton. Mm -hmm. Okay. He, he won't notice him unless he watches the video. No, he's not going to watch the video. Shout out Colton if you're watching. Alright, grew pretty tight, just a little less. No problem. Let's see if we can't compete with Landon's. I mean, he had a tight group, but... No. You can't touch I me, though. I only hit the target on two of his three shots. No, no, no. Two out of two. Alright. Don't miss. They're definitely ducking that. That's a... Uh... No, you don't have to duck to miss that. Ah. Uh, I mean... Mm -hmm. uh, well, you shot up under its legs, so. No, I just shot off to his side a little bit. Up and down, we're good. <sighs> he can't take the smoke. Consistently off. You know what I'm wondering? What? Did he just suck? Huh? Did you put it on 40? Mm -hmm. Made like a little mechanical. Mm, no, you just suck. Here. Hate to tell you. Okay. Come on, look. Take my sticker's just a little off, but. I mean, it'll do for sure. I'll take it. Yeah, I mean. What's up, everybody? I hope you all enjoyed the video. You know, I wouldn't say our bows are 100% sighted in yet, but I'm glad we were able to play around, tune them up just a little bit. Um, you know, I want to give a huge shout-out to Mike's Outdoor Sports for hooking us up. They did a phenomenal job on our bows. Y'all make sure to stay tuned. We'll be at the farm the next couple days getting plenty of footage for y'all. And this weekend, we'll also be out on the links with the rest of the crew. So y'all make sure to stay tuned and uh, subscribe and like. So peace.